I'm Larry Haler, your state representative from the 8th District. I represent most of Benton County, including Richland and Kennewick. I'm reporting today to you from the 2012 legislative session here in Olympia. Well, we're halfway through the 60-day regular session and still no budget from either House or the Senate. I was hoping that we could make some immediate headway toward a long-term budget solution. At least that's what majority party budget writers told us last December, when the legislature only addressed less than a quarter of the state's projected debt budget shortfall. Sadly though, we're nearly halfway through this session and we haven't made any substantive solutions. None of those substantive solutions have come through the House and Ways Committee. But I do have some good news for the first time in state history. House Republicans introduced a complete K through 12 education budget proposal called Fund Education First. Our Fund Education First House Bill 2533 would require the legislature to pass a separate K through 12 education budget before any other state appropriations. We're all ready to do this for our state's transportation and capital budgets. If education is truly our state's highest priority, and I believe it is, as does the state Supreme Court, then that should be reflected in our budget priorities. But we just didn't stop at the policy level requiring an education budget first. We actually created a complete budget document, the first budget of any of its kind ever in this state legislature. I wish we could compare our education budget with the official House and Senate education budgets, but they haven't shown up. We're still waiting for them. So at this point, our only comparison is to Governor Gregoire's budget proposal. If, we re if you recall, the governor's proposed su supplemental operating budget recommends cutting K-12 education funding by $630 million and then buying these cuts back to a three-year half a cent percent increase and a sales tax rate increase. Our plan would allocate $13.66 billion to the K-12 education representing a slight $45.9 million reduction from our current operating budget. And we would not raise your taxes. The governor's plan would cut levy equalization by $152 million and shorten the school year by four days to save another $99 million. Our plan would prioritize and fully fund both of these areas. The governor also uses the accounting gimmick to defer $340 million in payments well into the future. This just continues to kick the can down the road for future legislatures to solve. Our education bu budget does not use this budgeting trick. Our Fund Education First plan is the first step in rolling out our own budget plan to show how we can balance our state budget fully fund education, public safety, and protect the most vulnerable in our society, all within existing revenues, which are expected to be about $2 billion higher than they were the last biennium. I'm very excited about our Fund Education First proposal. We've had great support from school board members, superintendents, parents, and teachers from across this state. I hope you will join me in support of this common sense approach to funding our priorities. As always, I invite you to share your ideas by contacting my office. I welcome your input. You can use my direct line, 360-786-7986. That's 360-786-7986. Or you can call my office on the toll-free hotline and leave a message. Or you could even send me an email. And don't forget to check my website for news and where you can also sign up for my e-newsletter. E Thank you very much. It is an honor and a privilege to serve you in Olympia. I look forward to hearing from you. This is Larry Haler representing the 8th Legislative District reporting to you from Olympia.